everybody! In today's video I'm going to be flipping through my May Traveler's Notebooks. I have this here because one of the notebooks that I used this month was my Passport um, Blue Edition and I will show you why I've been using that but I just wanted to show you quickly that I'm using my Delphonics pouch from the um, stationery selection box from April. I believe it was is when I got this um, so I've just got some essentials in here just some pens and a glue stick and a washi sample and just stuff that I've collected throughout the month I've got an extra insert and just like a catch-all kind of thing so um, I will show you quickly what I've been using this for it is aging really well because I'm using it every single day and I'm really liking that so I've got a Muji pen here that I'm using. I believe this is bl the blue, black, and .38. Um, I've got two inserts in here. It's so floppy because I just brought it in from um, being outside in the car. So I've got the regular blank insert here that comes with the notebook, and I've just got some notes that I have been writing in here. It's something pretty. It's just a catch-all for note-taking. And then the second insert is I love this shadow effect I want to put his name here um, but it is to document my son's uh, my newest my newborn my brand new baby's life every day and um, so I've got the calendar here I think I'm going to glue this in or maybe put a picture from the first month to the sixth month because I think this insert only holds six months so I've just got the monthly page for anything major that happened that day and then just simple journaling in here with very minimal decoration um, I wasn't decorating it the first two weeks that's why it's like down here in the corner but I started putting in some decorations for each week like I said trying to keep it very minimal because it is such a small notebook um, so yeah, that's what I'm using this for. I'm really liking it and I've dated it myself. Um, this is, this is just the plain one. This isn't the 2018 version. Yeah, so that is what I'm using my Passport Blue Edition for. I'm so excited about it. This is my personal journal and then this is the planner archived one. If you've been watching my channel, my flip throughs for a while, you know that, but I just like to say... So I've got my superior labor, superior labor, if I can talk, charm on the front, my blue four off um, Travelers Factory exclusive little insert right here, and I'll just move that so this kind of lays flat. Um, so yeah, this is my um, like planner. It's the planner insert that I'm using to kind of write down what we do every day. So I will start with May. I can't remember which of these I've already shown. It's been kind of chaotic here um, since the baby was born. But here's May. Um, I started using our... I wanted to use like an airmail theme first because the to document the new airmail stamp that came out in the States on the 1st. So I kind of wanted to go with that. I used some of the stamps that I had and just cut a little envelope here. This was, um, I had gotten some happy mail from one of the design team members for the stationery selection and I wanted to use a lot of the things that she sent because it was all really pretty. So I just used that and the color scheme that went along with that. This was the week that Cullen was born, our newborn. I left it pretty simple. I'm not really sure why I haven't gone through but I'm okay with that. I used um, all the supplies in here are from the stationery selection from May. I've got the stamp, the stickers, the washi, the klesiki paper pad, the origami paper here and I used the brush pen to do this lettering. So I'm really excited about that and I've got his cute little footprint again right there. Here, I didn't really know what I was doing. Like I said, we just had a baby, so I'm just kind of like throwing stuff down that was getting in the way on my desk. So, um, and then Ray Dunn, I don't know if you guys follow her on Instagram, but she 
does a lot of pottery but she also does these cute little watercolor images each week and coincidentally on May 25th she did this one it says I love vintage labels and it's a denison box and I died I screenshot it I printed it and I got some vintage labels from my stash and in it went because it went for that week on the 25th which was that Friday so I really love that here I got some more Happy Mail. I was just using a lot of the stuff that I got in the mail. I actually really like the way this one turned out. I use a lot of vintage stuff. I've got some uh, old stamps and tickets, old paper. I've used some washi. These flowers are from an old botanical book. And then I use the pieces of um, things from the mail that I got. I really like how it came out. I like the colors. I just think it looks really cool. And that is the end of that because that is the 1st of June. Should have saved this for June, but that's okay. And then I've just got some advertisement cards from an event that I went to that caught my eye that I need to put into my other journal. And then my Pan Am writing board and then the back of that. So that's the only thing that I've got in here. So, so those are my two blue editions. Let's move on to my Ace Hotel Camel. I like the way this is aging. It's just not aging as quickly as some of my other notebooks. Um, I haven't been handling it a lot in the last two months because things have been kind of crazy, but I'm hoping that I can get it to age a little quicker. It's just super soft. So anyway, I've got my olive froth insert here with some postcards from the Raw Market Shop, I think. Yeah, Raw Market Shop. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with them because they're really pretty. And I don't want to throw them away. <laughs> I just don't know what to do with them. So there they stay for inspiration. And then a washi sample right here. And then my insert. So I don't have tabs. I've got a cute little paper clip that I got from... Um, one of the ladies on the design team, she sent me a little bit of happy mail. We did at the beginning of our term, we sent each other some happy mail and this was one of the things. So I've just got it clipped to the top right here because it's pretty and dangly. And here is the beginning of May. I did this in May and I think I did it in April too. I just did kind of like a welcome sheet for the month. I forgot to do it in June. I can probably save it, but it doesn't look like this. So. I really love using these vintage papers and maps. I love the colors on this. And um, yeah, so there's the beginning of May. I had this in my stash and I really liked it. So I just glued it in and then I started my journaling. So I experimented a lot in May using just kind of things that were just on my desk and things that I had gotten in the mail. And I just didn't want to spend a whole lot of time hunting for things. So like I said, I just used stuff that was just sitting on top of my desk. So I really like the way that it turned out. Um, I actually started documenting my pregnancy um, in May because it finally became like public knowledge. And it's kind of not fun when you have to hide your pregnancy. Well, you don't, I didn't have to hide my pregnancy. I wanted to, but it's kind of not fun to um, have to hide it from everybody on social media when you share these my the journals on it on social media it's it, it would just have been annoying to have to cover an entire page um I don't know so anyway I started writing more about it in here I had a pregnancy journal separate from this um that is not pretty at all it was just like a weekly brain dump but uh once it became public knowledge when I was catching up with everything I decided to include things from the last week or so. Actually, the last, uh, this was two days before he was born. So, anyway, I'm rambling. I had to go get a stress test done. So, of course, there's a super unflattering picture of me getting an ultrasound done and the stress test paper right here. I was not big until like the week before he came out. I promise I was really small. So anyway, here's a layout for my boys' graduation. They both had their graduations for pre-K and kindergarten on the same day, and it was the day before I gave birth. Can you believe that, you guys? So I'm very large <laughs> in our photos. 
uh, before I had the baby. So here is a picture. I used some vintage ephemera and stuff that I got in the mail from one of my very, very admired friends. She's amazing. Um, Everlasting Elements on Instagram and Etsy if you want old paper. She is your girl. Kim is amazing. So I haven't done the journaling on this because I haven't decided how I want to put the birth story into this tiny little spot. I don't know if I'm just going to put an envelope down with the printed version or just give like a cliff notes. I haven't decided yet. So um, I've included a pic um, Cullen's first picture there and then I have, I've decorated it for coming home the day we came home and how excited we were to bring him home. And then our first visitors, this is him with his great grandmother and then three days after he was born I was at Target. <laughs> I love Target and I can't stay away. So three days after having a baby I was there at Target. It's pretty funny. But these next two pages are my favorite journal pages I think I've ever done in any of my journals. Um, I pre-decorated a lot of these pages and then went in and did the journaling afterwards. But these two just came out so beautifully. My handwriting is tiny and I was able to get a lot of writing done. There's no pictures. You can focus on the writing and the decoration and I really love them. And it's one week of journaling instead of like a single day on a one layout. So there's a whole week of journaling in here, which I really, really like. So then there's these two pages, and I think that is the end. This is what I've got for June. I don't know how I'm going to... When I originally did this, I was thinking I could do like a week on two pages again, but then I got so much journaling done in the last you know, a couple pages that I didn't need this layout for that. So we'll see. We'll see how I handle that. But yeah, so that is all I've got for my May journals. I'm really excited that I got caught up. It took me a while. I just finished yesterday. So I'm really excited to, well, I'm not even fully caught up. I've got these three days that I've got to write about. But um, I'm really excited that I got it done. And I'm excited that I can start focusing on June and then hopefully get caught up, you know, this weekend. So if you have any questions, leave them down below. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you haven't seen my previous flip throughs, make sure you check them out. I'll try to link some for you here so you can find them easily. And I think that's all I've got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.